How's it going, everybody? Henry C. here, and you're watching Court Vision. This week, we're in Ansonia. We're checking out the Chargers, who have been battling some tough injuries to some key players, but they're still fighting strong. Only a six-player rotation, but they've got a 10-5 and record, and are hoping to do more in the NVL. We have three starters right now that are fighting injuries. The old saying goes, no one's really healthy at the end of the year. One of those starters is leading scorer Melissa Torello with turn Carlos in a shooting hand, but she knows she has to play through it. We have to work together really well. We only have six girls basically to play varsity, and we all have to push through it no matter what. Second leading scorer Tony Lawler is playing through a sprained ankle, and she's proud of her team's efforts. We worked hard, and we stuck with it. And that's what we do every day. We need to box out, play defense, and then the shots will fall after that. And senior captain Quanisha Finney isn't surprised at the team's success either. We always fight hard no matter how injured we are. Like Tyranny, she's still fighting hard. That's all we do. Keep pushing. And with the top team in the conference, Watertown on the schedule in the next game, they know it's going to take focus and something else to win. Hard. Uh, we played them the first time we got beat pretty bad, but we want to beat them. We're ready. Lawler says the Chargers are ready and the numbers back that up. Let's take a look at what they've done so far this season. Some of the leaders, the leading scorer, Melissa Torella, she's averaging 17.7 a game. She also scored her 1,000th career point this season. Lawler's averaging 12.4. And Finney's been a beast on the boards, averaging 10.1 rebounds per game. She's also scoring 5 points per game. Speaking of 1,000 points in their career, something else that caught my eye, West Haven's Java Johnson scored her 1,000th career point in a victory on Thursday against Law. She finished with 25. Thousand career points for the senior. Congratulations to Johnson. Thanks for watching the show. For more information on high school girls basketball, you know where to go. If you want to keep up with games live on game day, check out the Run to the Sun blog that's updated every game day so you can keep track of your favorite team no matter where they are in the state. And to find out all the information, game stories, notebooks on high school girls basketball, you know where to go. www.nhregister.com.